Sixth Asia Europe Editors Roundtable on multi currencies in a multipolar world is very timely. So, this roundtable for editors is offering a platform for media representatives from Asia and Europe to exchange views, to discuss options, and to reflect on the role of media in establishing an international financial monetary system. I don't think the euro is dying. I think it's ill, critically ill, but I don't think it's termin terminal ill. I think the euro area at the moment are facing very, very substantial challenges, and it is getting some medicine along the way from uh, policymakers and central banks, but I don't think it, it is dying. I think in a way, you know, we've discussed a lot today about the role of the media. I think it's important for the media to provide the context of what's really going on. You know. Well, what I think is that the Euro crisis has shown how important it is for the media to cover uh, in a responsible way the, the, the events. I think Asians have always used the EU and, and the Euro as a sort of benchmark for their integration even though they didn't want to follow it uh, precisely, but now I think they're even pulling back a bit more. And this seems to be creating a bit of a void because I think Asians realise that, uh, or Asian uh, governments and officials realise they need to have greater integration, they need to use their savings better, they need to integrate their trade and reduce trade barriers. Asian editors are thinking, can we invest our own resources in getting to our media consumers the story from our own perspective? So I have seen some attempts uh, to send Asian reporters to uh, the crisis hit countries in Southern Europe to get the human story. I will have the unique opportunity to present the outcomes of today's Editors' Roundtable in the Senior Finance Officials' Meeting, um, which is preparing the 10th ASEM Finance Ministers' Ministerial, which is meeting in Bangkok. Mm -hmm.